Regardless of whether or not you partake in the Devil's Lettuce, you owe it to yourself as a gamer to know the 10 greatest smoke spots in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Let's waste no time and get right into it. Kicking off our list at number 10, we have the Rat's Nest Dead Body Crack Smoke. Located in the game's first area, Rogueport, this spot is easily accessible. Upon entering, you will notice garbage strewn about, mysterious brown stains on the walls, and of course, in the Japanese version only, the dead toad tape outline on the floor. While this spot may be extremely shocking, that's exactly what makes it a good smoke spot. People expect clandestine activity to take place here, which is why nobody will ever accidentally stumble across you mid-smoke. Privacy level, 7 out of 10. Comfort level, 2 out of 10. At number 9, we have the Rogueport Gallows Blunt from Hell. <laughs> For some reason, upon immediately arriving in Rogueport, you are met with these medieval gallows. Is this thing meant for public execution? No. It is actually meant to sit and chill on while you throw a big blazing blunt. And the best part is, Rogueport is so shady, nobody will bat an eye. Privacy level, 1 out of 10. Comfort level, 7 out of 10. At number 8 and wrapping up the Rogueport smoke spots, we have Darkly's Back Alley Blunt Off. Cleverly hidden behind a wall in East Rogueport is perhaps the list's most private spot. Darkly's Back Alley. Here you can find some garbage scattered about, miscellaneous sized crates, empty bottles, roaches, and of course, Darkly himself. Sit back and share a hot green one with Darkly as you soak in the city's sinister energy. Privacy level, 10 out of 10. Comfort level, 6 out of 10. Number 7, Chiefing and Keefing at the Creepy Steeple. In Chapter 4, you travel to perhaps the game's spookiest location, the Creepy Steeple. Once you get past the fact that there is an identity-stealing demon from hell in the building behind you, you'll be rewarded with an extremely comfortable smoke spot. A huge yard surrounded by big strong trees with a beautiful full moon above, this spot is one of the most relaxing on the list. Privacy level 7 out of 10, comfort level 8 out of 10. Following up Creepy Steeple, at number 6 we have Dupless's Crack Den Cookout. Atop the Creepy Steeple lies its owner and only inhabitant, Dupless. While his room looks like it's straight out of hell itself, it honestly provides some quite comfortable furnishings. A one-man sofa to relax on while puffing fat gas, a small box TV to watch Adult Swim on, and a bathtub to take a piping hot bath in while at the peak of your high. Truly a slept on smoke spot. Just make sure Dupless isn't around while you're using it. Privacy level? Question mark out of 10. Depends on whether or not Big D is there. Comfort level? 10 out of 10. Number 5. Smoke and Moon Rocks on the Moon Rocks Near the end of the game, Mario and friends travel to the frickin' moon. But contrary to popular belief, this is not just because the game requires it. They travel here because it's a freaking top 5 smoke spot. Once you reach the moon, you can start smoking anti-gravity blunts. The perspiration and evaporation of the weed's cush molecules allows your weed blunt to permanently stay lit. The anti-gravity creates a suction effect on your backwood and allows you to effortlessly pull smoke from it. Privacy level, 10 out of 10. Who the hell else is going to be on the moon? Comfort level, 8 out of 10. At number 4, we have Mario's House Bleezy. You, Mario, and maybe Luigi. This spot is near the top of the list when it comes to both comfort and privacy. Smoking a bleasy with the Mario Brothers. What a vibe. The only downside of this spot is that it occurs right at the beginning of the game and you are never able to revisit it. That just means you need to make every blunt count. Privacy level 10 out of 10. Comfort level 9 out of 10. Entering top 3 territory, we have the Glitzville Chill. Many know Glitzville is simply the best chapter in the game, but it also serves as a top 3 smoke spot. Unmatched energy, vibrant colors, hot dog stand, bar, and more. What else could a smoker ask for? If you're looking for privacy, this may not be your spot, but as far as comfort goes, Glitzville has it all and more. You can light up a blunt with a little Yoshi if you're feeling adventurous. Privacy level 3 out of 10, comfort level 9 out of 10. At number 2 we have the Boggly Woods Backwoods. This spot should come as no surprise, Boggly Woods is one of the most beautiful and relaxing spots in the entire game. Gorgeous white trees, ethereal music, and a partner that will make smoking even more enjoyable, Flurry. She can blow real good, roll blunts like a pro, and you know, whatever else comes to mind. If you're looking for a solid rotation of smoke partners, you can also include some punies in the mix. Privacy level 7 out of 10. Comfort level 9 out of 10. The moment you have all been anxiously awaiting, the number one smoke spot in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Though it isn't really a spot as much as it is a method, the number one smoke spot in the game is Mario himself. Think about it. Dude is literally made out of paper. You can roll up a Mario backwood and get high as all hell. I seriously don't know why more people are not talking about this. Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Old Blunt Wrap. I know I'd hit that at least once. That concludes our Thousand Year Door Smoke Spots video. Click that subscribe button now. Seriously, do it.